Hello students, welcome to our channel. In this class, we are going to learn about pseudocode for expressing algorithm. In our previous class, we learn about so what is algorithm. Now we learn how to express the algorithm as pseudocode. So first we see what is pseudocode. So pseudocode is a high level description of an algorithm. So high level description is nothing but the algorithm may be understand to layman also, but high level description cannot be understand to layman. So this will understand to programmers only. Pseudocode can be easily understand by someone who have basic knowledge of programming. So who have basic knowledge of programming, so they only understand what is pseudocode. So while writing pseudocode, one can use control structures that as for loop, while, if then else, repeat until. That means, so these keywords we are going to use when we write the pseudocode. So these control structures are common in almost all programming languages and hence can be used when required. So once we done with the pseudocode, we can easily modify it into a program in our preferred language. So once you done with the pseudocode, once you complete the pseudocode, then you can easily convert that pseudocode into program in our preferred language, maybe C, C++, Java or Python. So another advantage of pseudocode is that the running time, the running time of the program can be estimated in a general manner using it. That means, I hope you all are know that the time complexity of a bubble sort is big O of n square, mid sort is big O of n log n. Now, how we can know that means, we can define these time complexities. The time complexity means running time of a program estimated in a general manner. General man means so big O of n square. That means, the mathematically you are going to specify the time complexity of a program. That means, we understand that so by using the pseudocode, we are going to find the time complexity of a program. What is the difference between algorithm and pseudocode? An algorithm is well-defined sequence of instructions that provide a solution to the given problem. A pseudocode is a method which is used to represent an algorithm. That means, first we write the algorithm. From that algorithm, we are going to write the pseudocode. The algorithm is written in plain English or any general language. The pseudocode is written with the hint of programming concepts such as control structures. That means, for example, I want to print the 10 numbers. In algorithm, I write print 10 numbers. But coming to pseudocode, by using the for loop and while loop, and you specify the variable name and the condition also. That means, it is concrete representation of your algorithm. So, for better understanding, so this is the difference between the so algorithm and pseudocode. Here we are taking the example of calculating the area of a circle. In our previous class, we discussed about this algorithm. Okay. Now the same algorithm I converted as a pseudocode. So this is the function name area of circle. So begin read number radius and define the area. Here input is R you are going to find area equals to the formula pi r square, output is area and n. So, this is the pseudocode. Okay. Now, so what you observe? You observe that the algorithm may be understand to layman also, but pseudocode is understand to technical people who have the knowledge about the programming languages. So, advantages of pseudocode. Pseudocode can improve readability and is the best way to start implementing an algorithm. So, based on the algorithm, we write the pseudocode. So, based on the pseudocode, we write the program. Now, pseudocode works as rough documentation. So, rough documentation means, so in this example, if you observe, so we write the function name as a area of circle. Now, based on the name, we know that this code is used to find the area of circle. That is the documentation. By seeing the name, we know the functionality of the function. So, next point, it makes the work of programmer easy as it helps them understand the code better. Okay. So, by using this 
uh, pseudocode they can easily write the programs it acts as a bridge between a program and an algorithm normally we write the programs so how so first we write the algorithm then pseudocode then program so the pseudocode is bridge between the program and algorithm it makes the process of constructing code easy so you can construct the code very easily with the help of pseudocode so now we see so how to write a pseudocode how to write a pseudocode when we writing the pseudocode we follow some instructions in that the first one is first arrange the tasks in a sequence that means arrange the tasks step by step a pseudocode is something that can be understood by any basic programmer now if you complete the pseudocode then any basic programmer can understand your pseudocode here also so follow the indentation and white spaces while writing an actual program so following naming conventions is important here you are going to follow some naming conventions sentences casing will always help you differentiate between constants variables methods and others that means here we are using camel case for methods upper case for constants lower case for variable what it means if i define a variable radius then i define this in small letters so it is a variable name if i define a variable in capital letters pi then it is constant if i define a function like this area circle now a and c so both are capital letters that means this is a function okay a pseudo code is supposed to explain the code in detail don't keep the pseudo code abstract that means the pseudo code there is no ambiguity we are going to explain the code in detail don't abstract the code here so use of control structures such as for while if then so cases makes it is makes it easy while you develop a program using the pseudo code as a reference now you take the reference of pseudo code so from that you are going to write the program very easily a pseudo code must be perfect in order for the so code to be perfect if the pseudo code is perfect obviously the code also perfect so do check if the pseudo code consists of any infinite loops or any gaps you check that if there is any infinite loops how so for example i less than or equals to 10 we are going to print high that means 10 times i want to print high whenever we enter into the loop we are going to write the i plus 1 we increment the i value if you ignore this point so this become as infinite loop okay now you identify that is there any type of infinite loops in your program okay in next lecture we are going to discuss about performance analysis of a program in terms of time complexity and space complexity thank you